Yo guys, what is up? It's Crips and welcome to another Destiny video. So in today's Destiny video, I'm bringing you Titan Fast Sets number 8. Now if you're new to the channel and don't know how this video works, I'll be showing off 3 of my own Titan Fashion sets, and then 4 winners from the Discord, as well as some honourable mentions for those which are close to winning. Now if you want a chance to be featured in the next fashion video, which will be a Warlock Fashion set, please go ahead and join the Discord at the top of the description, go down to Video Submissions and submit your Warlock sets. I also want to say thank you all so much for the incredible support this past month. My goal by the end of the month was to hit 7,000 subs and we hit it early so I just want to say thank you all so much for the incredible support and the reason why this fashion sets took much longer than the other ones to come out is because obviously the last video which I made which was on the Season of the Chosen Pass ornaments. If you haven't seen that please go ahead and check out already. It took me quite a long time to grind up so what I did was I just made that video and I wanted a short little break before I made the next fashion sets video. Now we're going to be back on track like normal. These fashion set videos will be coming out every 3-4 to four days. So please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I also forgot to mention that each winner today of the fashion sets will receive the chosen title within the discord. And this will be the same throughout all the videos this month. And then it will expire at the end of the month when a new title will come out for the whole of next month. And yeah, without further ado, I think it's time we get straight into the video. This is very long awaited. So now moving on to my Titan sets. So this is the first set of the three I've made. So yeah, I apologize for the lightning game. I don't know if you can see this very well. But anyways, the helmet uses the Virtuous Helm ornament from the Season of Dawn Pass. This is no longer obtainable. The arms and the boots both use the Imperial Cartographer ornament. This is currently being sold in the Eververse Archive. The chest plate is the Corace of the Fallen Star Exotic, which is from Legend of Master Lost Sectors. Now these Legend of Master Lost Sectors can be found on the Cosmodrome, Europa and now the Moon. So I'd recommend grinding out Legend that is much lower and I found that the drop rates, uh, with the rate at which you can complete Legend, um, it's not much different to Master. I definitely recommend doing Legend, it's way easier. So just wait until it starts doing chest plate and then just grind it out until you get the new chest plate. Now as for the mark, you used the steeplechase mark ornament which is from the last season's pass and if you didn't get this unfortunately you can no longer obtain this. And then as for the shader which goes over the whole armor set, I'd use rusted iron which is from Iron Banner during Forsaken. Now I don't believe this is no longer obtainable, it may be in the future but as of the recording of the video you cannot currently obtain this shader. Now I know many people may not have the Season of Dawn Helm ornament, so what I would recommend would be using Celestial, so as I show you right now. Some people may prefer this more, so the Season of Dawn helmet was actually uh, suggested by one of my mods which was Sem, uh, so thank you so much for suggesting it. And this was my original look, but after you suggested the Season of Dawn helm, it just really brightened up the set and made it look much better, and it was more fitting as you know you know the gladiator theme and these arms it just matches much more perfectly with the set compared to this helmet not to say that this doesn't look bad this looks really cool as well but the season of dawn helmet is much more fitting for the set but yeah overall i really like the colors of the set it really pops nicely and even though there's a contrast in colors between the arms the legs make up for it as you can see so that contrast just continues throughout and this chest plate is mainly what drew me to this shader i was testing out a bunch of shaders on this because it does shader very nicely but as soon as i seen rusted iron i just absolutely fell in love with this and um, testudo looks cool with gold as well as well as the amateur which is from the past as well so this chest plate shaders extremely well with multiple different things so you can just experiment with it and test it out but overall i'm extremely pleased with this set and i just think it looks absolutely amazing so yeah just let me know what you'll think of this in the comments below now this is the second set i made for the titan so i really wanted to try and use the ice form mantle again as i seen the celestial chest plate and i thought it looked really cool with the arms now as for the armor the helmet used the iron wilhelm now this was obtainable during last season's iron banner so most of you may have this if you did play last season the arms are the ice form mental exotic from legend and master lost sectors the chest plate is the celestial ornament from the season of the chosen ever set and is currently being sold right now and if any of you are unsure on buying the celestial set i do have a video on the channel which may help you all out and then as for the boots it uses the crust of cream boots from varax's quests and you can also do varax's sabotage upgrades and then you can soon unlock 
other ways to obtain the gear. Mark uses the Lucid Knight ornament from the Dawn and Eververse. Now an alternative could also be the Chrysler Queen piece, which is obtained through the same way as the boots. And then as for the shader which goes over the whole armor set, is Resilient Laurel, which is sold in the Brighter store during the Dawning event. Now the Dawning is the Christmas event, so you have to wait quite a while if you haven't got this shader already. But yeah, overall I think it's a really cool set. I mainly just wanted to use an icy blue colour obviously to match with the arms and when I seen this chest plate I thought the fur would look really cool on the set and I think it's turned out pretty well. Now the only things I don't like about this set is the difference in colour here between the belt and the boots. Now it's quite nice they blend it nicely out but as you can see here there's a lighter blue here with a bit of darker. That's the only thing that like sort of bugs me about the set with these little yellow bits but other than that I really like the set. Like the boots for me is really what helps push the set further as it is a snowy set the boots are quite like fitting for the theme of it as well as like you know the fur on the boots match with the fur on the celestial not in terms of colour but the fact that there's just fur there and yeah overall I just think it's really cool I love the design of the iron wheel it's just a really clean helmet overall and I've just loved using it in my sets but yeah that is pretty much the second set let me know what you all think of it in the comments below and yeah it's time to move on to the third set. So now moving on to the final one of my sets for the Titan and then we'll be moving on to the Discord winners. So this is the set in game. I apologise again for the lighting, I'm just getting really bad lighting right now in the tower. So now moving on to the armour, the helmet used the Celestial Ornament from the Season of the Chosen Eververse set. This is currently being sold and if you aren't sure on this I do have a video on the channel previewing all the sets for all three characters. The arms use the Loose and Night Arms from the Dawn in Eververse. This is the Christmas event for the game. The chest plate is the Imperium Cartographer Ornament from the Eververse Archive. The boots are the Celestial Ornament from the Season of the Chosen Eververse set. And the mark is the Mark of the Great Hunt from the Last Wish Raid. Now as for the shader which goes over the whole armour is Gold Leaf which was a drop from dismantling Menagerie weapons and armour. Now this is sadly no longer obtainable as Menagerie is no longer in the game. But yeah this is the set overall. I think it looks really nice. The only downside to this set, which other legs may do better, um, but I found in the overall theme of the set these boots just match the best. But the glow as you can see is blue compared to the white on the eyes. Um, so it can stand out a bit but I personally really like the difference in glow. But if it does bother you, you can like change it to the Imperium boots or maybe something different. But really, I think it just suits very nice with the set. Mainly because like the Imperium here, this design here on the chest plate and on the legs just match so nicely together. And it just feels like the boots and the chest are just a part of one set when they're actually just two different set pieces. But yeah, that is pretty much the third and final set of mine. We're going to be now moving on to the winners and then the honourable mentions for those which are close to winning. Now moving on to the Discord winners, so every winner today will receive the chosen title within the Discord, and then I'll also give some honourable mentions to those of you which are really close to winning. Now something I did realise with the submissions this week, obviously there was a lot more time to submit them, but a lot of people were using a lot of red and white, or red and black. A lot of these sets were hard to pick from because they all seem so similar to each other, so you know it did make it a lot more difficult to pick from and that is also the reason why I tried to push away from red sets of my own because obviously I didn't want to put a whole video of just red sets so yeah there is still some variety in the winners but obviously there was just so many red submissions I noticed I don't know why and where this came from but everyone just started using red for some reason but um, yeah, that is just a pre-warning as the winners will mostly use red sets today. So anyways, it's time we just get straight into the first winner, which goes to Coco. Congratulations, a really cool black and red set using the new helmet ornament, which I think looks really cool. And I've been thinking about buying this myself, but I think I'm just going to wait until the end of the season and buy it for Bright Dust. Now as for the armor on the helmet, he used the Insurmountable Skull for Exotic with the Mind Vault ornament which is currently being sold in the Eververse store. The arms are the Steeplechase ornament from the Season of the Hunt Pass. The chest plate is the Celestial ornament from the Season of the Chosen Eververse set. Boots and the Mark both use the Loose and Night ornament from the Dawn in Eververse. Now you will have to wait until the Dawn event occurs again to be able to purchase this set. And then as for shaders, they use Carbon Blood on all the armor except the Mark. 
and this shader can sometimes be sold in the brightest store. And then as for the Mac, they use Carminica, which was a reward from the season of arrivals Crucible Pursuit, and it's no longer obtainable as we're no longer in the season of arrivals. But yeah, overall a really nice set, flows very nicely together, and I think the celestial chest play with the helmet just matches perfectly. And Lucid Knights tends to match well with Celestial. I just didn't think the Steeplechase would pop this nicely with the shader, and it just works so well. So, yeah, congratulations on winning. So, now moving on to the second Discord winner. This goes to Santi. Now, this set does look really nice, and main reason why I picked this was because obviously I haven't seen a lot of purple sets for the Titan, and also the use of the Aeon Exotics. I never really see this in a fashion, so it's really nice to see them, especially since they got a really nice buff. Now as for the armor they use is Celestial Ornament on the helmet and this is from the Season of the Chosen Eververse set. The arms use the Aeon Safe Exotic from Lord Drops. The chest plate used the Empyrean Cartographer Ornament from the Eververse Archive. The boots use the Solstice 2020 Ornament with the Void Glow. And as for the mark they use the Celestial Ornament from the Season of the Chosen Eververse set. Now as for shaders they use Imperial Dress on the helmet, arms and chest and then Amethyst Veil on the boots and the mark. Now Imperial Dress was a drop from Dismantling Menagerie Weapons and Armor, which is no longer in the game, and Amethyst Veil is a drop from Bright Engrams and can sometimes be sold in the Bright Dust store. Overall, it does look really nice. Now the boots do glow quite a bit, but I think it matches nicely with the helmet as well, so it's like a little nice little balance between them, as well as the Aeon Safe actually has some glow bits coming off the arms so overall it just flows very nicely together the glow on the boots isn't too empowering as it's balanced out by the helmet and the arms and i just think overall it looks really cool the imperial cartographer chest does flow really nice with the arms and it's a nice find you got there i didn't even know that the aeon safe worked so well with the imperial um, so i might have to try something in the future with the exotic arms but yeah overall a really cool set I really like what you did here with the colours and yeah congratulations on winning and getting your title. Now moving on to the third Discord winner we have Spunky. Now I actually really like this set because it's quite minimal, it's not crazy, there's no you know pieces which are like sticking out. It's quite minimal for a titan, quite slim, not too bulky and I just quite like it. Um, the design overall, it's different in the sense that not many people go with this sort of look and I just like it overall of how the colours work so nicely with it as a whole. And yeah, now moving on to the armour. The helmet used the Lux Helm ornament from the Eververse Archive. The arms and chest both used the Iron Will pieces from the Iron Banner last season. The boots used the Dune Matches Exotic from Mod Drops. And the mark is the Mark of the Unassailable, which is from Legendary Engrams. And as for the shader which goes over the whole armour set is Pyritic Clash, which you can currently get for ranking up your Valor in the Crucible. But yeah, overall I think the shader works amazingly well with this whole armour. I really do like this new shader and I'm going to try using it in maybe some of my Hunter fashion because I have mixed some ammo with it for the Hunter and I think it looks really cool. The little pearlescent of blue with the red and I just think it looks really nice the little colour combo it gives that shader and with this whole set it just looks really clean all together. Very minimal and unique set. It hasn't got anything too flashy and I don't think it really needs anything that flashy. That's why I really like it and it just looks so nice as just a normal clean titan. So yeah congratulations on winning. Now before I move on to the fourth and final discord winner I just want to give some honourable mentions to some sets which were really close to winning. Now please do not feel discouraged if you did not win today. These sets were really good and yeah I just can't wait to see what you'll submit for the Warlock fashion. So the honourable mentions go to I'm Baby and Score No Touch, Titan Eater of Crayons, The Diet Stir, Hinra and Biggest Chungus. So congratulations to all the honourable mentions. Now I also want to give a quick little mention to the Morning Wood set. You know, maybe one day it'll win. I just want to give a little mention as they were trying to push this set to win. I just want to say congratulations again for everyone for participating in this fashion set video. Even if you didn't get any honourable mentions or the winners, I just want to say thank you all so much for engaging in Discord and becoming a bigger part of the community. It's time we move on to the fourth and final Discord winner, which goes to Literally John. Now the name of the set is Monarchy's Reign, which is quite fitting considering the shader he is using. 
Now as for the armor, the helmet chooses the Prefectus Helm from the Season of Chosen Pass. This is the non ornament version. The arms use the Radagast Iron Gauntlets from the Year 1 Iron Banner from the Warmind Ornaments. The chest plate is the Crest of Alpha Loopy Exotic from Wool Drops. The boots are the Bulletsmith's IRE Greaves from the Scourge of the Past Raid. And the mark is the Entanglement Mark from Legendary Engrams. And as for the shader which goes over the whole arm set, it's New Monarchy Succession which is from the Faction Rally back in Year 1. But overall a really cool and unique set. I really do like it and the helmet matches perfectly with the look you're trying to get. And I also like the use of Crest of Alpha Loopy as not many people have ever used that in a set and it just blends so well together in the, in the set as a whole. And I really think the shader just pops nicely and makes the red match so well with the gold. And overall it's just a really clean and amazing set. But yeah that's pretty much all the winners for the Discord. I just want to say thank you again to everyone for participating in the fashion set videos. The next fashion will be a warlock fashion, so go on ahead and submit your warlock sets into video submissions. And if you need help with your set, go down to sets, in progress sets, and set requests. They are some good channels to help you out with your sets. But yeah, I just want to say thank you all so much again for 7,000 subscribers. That is absolutely insane. This channel is progressively getting bigger and bigger, and I just can't wait to see how far we can take it. But yeah, I hope you all really enjoyed the video. Let me know what you all think of it in the comments below, as well as what you think of the set shown. And yeah, guys, I just want to say again, thank you all so, so much for watching and for the incredible support. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Stay safe, and I'll see you on the next video.